All right guys, what is going on? Now, this video is not really a video that I intended to make. It's not really a type of video that I enjoy making, but I feel like I need to address a few things in regards to my recent videos. Now then, I just wanna go out there and say for the majority of the dislikes and negative comments on my previous couple videos pretty much that's just down to the trolls i'm not sure you know where they're coming from but i'll just give you an example of how i know that it's um you know just a couple of trolls i got like 15 views in the space of like two minutes and along with those 15 views came 15 dislikes so you know it's one very very sad person who has 15 different accounts and literally just dislikes a video clicks switch account to his next account and then dislikes it then just keeps doing all that you know until he gets to until he does it with all of his accounts i say his it could be a her i don't know but yeah, so, like, just to kind of clear up why I'm getting a lot of dislikes, for the most part, you know, some some can be granted, you know, people may just generally dislike my video, and that's fine, you know, I don't, I'm not really bothered if someone's disliking my video, and, uh, but yeah, I think I need to, I think I needed just to clear that up, like, I'm getting a few trolls on my videos, which is to be expected, you know, there's a saying that goes something like, if you're getting hate, then you must be doing something right, so, I guess I must be doing something right. I am, you know, really just having a great time making videos. I feel like I'm in a good place now. I've finally got a good structure going with YouTube. And I'm, I'm finally making videos that I want to make. Them being finance, car, and then like also travel vlogs and things like that. Obviously when I do travel. But yeah, it's just a few people, a few sad people that need to try and ruin it. They're, you know, these are people that try to bring me down, which is not working by the way, so you can carry on, you know, leave, leaving the negative comments, leaving the dislikes, it really doesn't bother me. At the end of the day, that's just more engagement, and that's just more views on my videos, and that's just more money in my pocket when I get my Google payment each month. So, yeah, it really doesn't bother me. Um, these people will eventually stop after some time once they know that it's not bothering me, and uh, once they know that it's not working. Um, but yeah, along with the trolls, like I was saying, there are actually some genuine um, negative comments. You know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Some comments are, you know, some comments do carry some constructive criticism, which is fine. You know, I always read and try to respond back to every single comment. Uh, but just leaving comments like, oh, mommy and daddy paid for everything you know you've been like some guy listed that i've been on all these trips over the past few years and that my mommy and daddy paid for it all it's just like absolutely ridiculous like my mom and dad are not rich they honestly they do not have money spare at the end of each month and uh that's not the way that i want to live my life and so that's why i'm trying to make a change and uh, trying to you know make some big plans for the future of you know with regards to investing and things like that so yeah so my, my parents aren't rich like they don't pay for yeah fair enough yeah they pay for like the house that i live in you know i still live at home with my parents yes that's fair enough that's a different circumstance to a lot of other people you know who have had to move out for whatever reason maybe it's their own choice maybe they've just got kicked out and they have to rent yes and they have to pay bills and whatever else now I live at home, I just pay board, so does my girlfriend. We're still, you know, both relatively young. I say relatively, we are still young, like well, I'm 23, my girlfriend's 21. You know, we are in you know, a fortunate position to be able to save money um, and still live at home and only pay board and then whatever other expenses we have. Uh, but, you know, with that, with still living at home, like, I really do appreciate that, and I, I, I have a, a lot of gratitude for my parents, and um, I do, I do appreciate them, and I do do things to show that I appreciate them, like, for one, 
like next year it's my dad's like 60th birthday this year and uh, one thing that I want to do for him is pay for his I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the video at the start of the year like in my goals for the year uh, video and one of the things I want to do is pay for him to go to the Belgian Grand Prix and like I want to pay for like the entire trip but, like a couple of a, about a year or two ago as well I also pay for them to go to Iceland like pay for that entire trip but next year I want to pay for them uh, pay for my dad and my mom and uh, my girlfriend to go to Belgium to go to the Belgian F1 Grand Prix it'd just be a really good experience and um, be a nice you know spend time with the family and whatever else um, but yeah I just I tried to do little things like that to kind of you know really sh show my appreciation um, you know for their hard work and everything that they've done for me um, but with that being said like I work bloody hard myself like <laughs> I don't always try to, you know, bang on about it, but you know, I, I work I work a full-time job. You know, I do YouTube, like make three YouTube videos a week. I go to the gym, yes, that's a luxury, that's my own choice, but you know, it does take time. I go to the gym four days a week. And then I have other commitments as well, like I'm a, I'm pretty much like a, you know, a carer for my granddad. He's like getting on now, my granddad's like 85. So I go around his house a few days a week and uh, just help him out with like shopping and uh, cleaning his house, gardening and things like that. So that takes a lot of time. And uh, I really do not have a lot of like spare time. Like I don't really see the girlfriend as much as I really should and that kind of takes a hit sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it's like, I have a very hectic life and I do generally I do I know like, I know I work hard and I've always kind of been that way <sighs> so yeah it's just it is frustrating sometimes when people don't really see the bigger picture so that's kind of the reason why I am uh, making this video I guess just to try and clear a few things up but in regards to the video that I made you know how to save up a hundred thousand pound for a house deposit like I was simply telling you how to do it. I was not saying that you know individual people it's possible for them. Obviously, everyone has a different circumstance. Some people are living at home. Some people are renting. Some people don't have jobs, and that's all fine. I was telling you simply how you can do it. I was telling you how I am doing it. How me? How I'm personally doing it. And that's you know the the really the only thing that I'm trying to bring across on these videos. You know how I'm doing it and how it's possible for for you to do it at the end of the day like if you're struggling like with your finances month to month like something has to change you're either not earning enough money or you're just spending too much money now I know this is gonna like trigger a few people but you know the average person has a car payment the average person spends three four hundred pound a month on a brand new car which in my opinion is like it's not needed like if you're not saving any money for the long term like whether it's for retirement whether that's for you know saving for a house or whatever but yet you have a car payment it really just doesn't make sense to me because a car goes down in value like you know investments and a house that goes up in value so you should really be thinking long term so yeah when people are leaving comments like you know it's not realistic to save this much money yeah i get it you know for everyone it's not realistic to save as much as maybe me and my girlfriend are but you can still save some amount of money right you know I'm sure there's things that you can change in your budget I'm sure there's ways that you can cut back and I'm sure there is ways that you can you know at least save for a house deposit there's just so many people that uh, feel like victims like oh you know we're trapped we're renters for life you know I just can't break the cycle but yet they would go out like every weekend and spend like, you know, 100, 200 pound a week on alcohol. And it's just like, if you save that money, you'd be able to get out of this trapped uh, environment. And um, yeah, it's, it's frustrating sometimes to see people not wanting to bet themselves. So I, I hope in some way, shape or form, I'm at least like inspiring some people to you know try and better themselves whether that's with their finances whether that's with you know making better decisions in the life but um yeah it's something that i do feel passionate about and uh, i genuinely genuinely do enjoy helping people so yeah i hope i can kind of bring across some of my videos that point
And for the people that are like, oh, you need to stop making finance videos, you need to just quit YouTube, you've been doing it for years now, you've only got 4,000 subscribers, you know, you really just need to stop. Like, I simply won't. Like, I enjoy YouTube way too much. And uh, for the things that I've got out of it, like, I've met so many great people. It's just gave me so many good opportunities. And uh, I actually earn, like, some money from it now. So, you know, I, I don't ever see myself quitting. You know, I just enjoy it too much. And, um... Like, even for the simple fact that, you know, say if I go away, say if I travel to a different part of the world and, like, I make a, a travel series on it, like, that is literally a place where I can put my videos and then always watch them back in the future. Uh, I've just got so many, like, memories from YouTube and so many, like, videos I can just literally look back at a certain point in my life and see, okay, that's how I was, that's how I was thinking at that time. So, like, honestly, I don't see myself quitting YouTube anytime soon. I couldn't care like how many subscribers or how many views I have like I don't really I don't really do this to try and become a big YouTuber I simply do it because I enjoy doing it I enjoy the whole process and um, yeah I'm not gonna be quitting anytime soon I'm sorry if that uh, has kind of hurt a few of your feelings okay then so I hope this video has kind of cleared a few things up I hope it has made things a lot clearer in regards to my last couple of videos you know with the dislikes and all the trolls and all that um, and I hope it's kind of helped you gauge you know sort of where I'm thinking at the moment and uh, yeah I'm, I'm not gonna be leaving YouTube anytime soon so for those of you that do support me I greatly appreciate it keep it going and uh, yeah I'll still be making YouTube videos so yeah I, th I just want to thank all of you guys for watching this Please give it a like if you have enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and I will see you in that next video. There's always one, isn't there? Peace!